Hey, Flying Fox Fruits here with another video about planeas and mercierias, the Jabuticaba type trees, right? This one is about species complex. And my understanding of what a species complex is, is when you have all these species that are so closely related that the boundaries are blurred and people start calling this a species, that a species. And they may be separate species, subspecies, or they could be the same thing, and we just don't know. So let's start off with, we're gonna try to go through some of the plants that I think might possibly be part of a species complex, and there may be some confusion in separating these things out. Let's start off with the Plinia ariana. Boom. White Jabba di Caba, Plinia ariana. This to me, <laughs> is a lot like Plinia Fetrantha, okay? Fetrantha is gonna look just like it, basically, except the fruit gets red, but then they got some Orianas that they say are red, okay, like a Fetrantha, and then they got Fetranthas that are white, like Ariana. That's a little confusing, isn't it? Because I thought being Ariana meant that, you know, you're a white, green fruit, whatever, no color, not red, you know, no red color. Well, they got red arianas and green fetranthas and they look a lot alike so i think there may be a species complex going on and i've even heard some people say that plinia grandifolia might be part of this species complex because really this does look a little bit like that and a little bit like fetrantha so i don't know grandifolia i've heard some taxonomists and some of these pomologists say it might be part of a species complex that includes Ariana and Fetrantha. Let's walk over here to the Fetrantha. Show you a Fetrantha just to show you how much it looks like the white. Okay, right here. This is a Fetrantha. This is the one I call Sanford. It's a seedling. It came in a group of seedlings, I, uh, seeds I purchased from a guy. And this came up as our, uh, Fetrantha out of a batch of Arianas I planted. And it makes a red fruit. It's just like all the other Arianas I've tasted. There's some flowers on it. But this thing looks just like a white when you look at it. So who knows what these scientists are trying to tell us these things are. Look over here. This is one right here that they call watermelon, uh, Branca Rajada. So this is supposed to be Plinia Ariana, but to me, this is distinct. This don't look like any of the Arianas I've ever grown because the new growth when it comes out is fuzzy. It just doesn't look like any, these are all three of them right here of them, look at that. And then look at the new growth. See the fuzziness on the new growth? If you can see, is that fuzzy? You see the fuzziness? That's more like Fetrantha or like Grandifolia. Ariana typically doesn't have that fuzziness of the new growth. So who knows what this is really closely related to. It gets very confusing. They're calling this Plinia Ariana, but to me, I kind of disagree. It don't look like that. Look, this is Fetrantha right here. This is Fetrantha, E-S-A-L-Q Fetrantha. And it's got like a fuzzier leaf. There's a, there's Fetrantha's Evropoir. Uh, let's show you what else we could show. Okay, let's, let's get over into this. Oh heck, you got the PDM. Makes you wonder what this is really closely related to. It almost looks kind of related to uh, Grandifolia. It's got that fuzzy new growth. That's the, do the doctor's job of Dukaba. Uh, Paluda Domukuri. I got it right, my Brazilian friend. Look, now this I believe is Broncamel. Plinia Ariana variety Broncamel. I believe, I can't prove it until it fruits, but that's what we're thinking it is. I have some Bronca Mel's planted out that are confirmed that are smaller, but I got this unlabeled as a large seedling from a collector and it, it, it's just a gorgeous white. It looks like a white, but the leaf is kind of a little bit fuzzier than the others I'm used to. It's interesting how they do that. Now these are all Fetranthas here. And now think about that. Look at the difference in the leaf. This is blue variety Sapucaya. And then look, look at all these different variations in leaf, all from the same seeds. Now, see that one there, but look, from the same batch of seeds, this one looks like the regular Ariana to me. You see how confusing this gets and how, how much variation there is from uh, the seedlings and the leaf? Same batch of seeds, look at the leaf. See, this one is what, I, is what they call bullate, B-U-L-L-A-T-E, and that means like puffy, puffed out. See the puffiness and like the, the rough texture? That's bullate. 
This is not so bullet. And then this one is quite smooth. This one's smooth and slender. This is uh, right behind you. Look at this guy. This is the big leaf, Plinia Fetrantha Branca. So it makes a white fruit like Ariana, but it's a Fetrantha. And look at the leaves. It looks just like a white Ariana. Confusing, y'all. <clears throat> All right, let's confuse you just a little more before the video is done. This is one more that I think is part of a possible species complex. This is Myrcieria glazioviana, G-L-A-Z-I-O-V-I-A-N-A, -A and Cabaluda, yellow Java Chicaba. This is a seedling. Now this tree is a lot like this tree over here. So that's the yellow Java Chicaba, the common one that people in the nursery sell. Sorry, I'm pushing you all over here. We're gonna get ants on it. It's a lot like this tree. I don't know if I can show you that. This is Strigipes, Myrcieria strigipes. And it probably comes from a different range. It definitely handles the cold much better, but I graft this onto that, the Glazio Viana. Look down at the base. This is probably the first one in history that's ever been grafted, but that's the rootstock, which is Glazio Viana, and this is the Scion, which is strigipes. I think they're part of a species complex, possibly. And they could probably make a hybrid. And then look over here in the corner. Now this is pushing it. I don't think I don't think this is part of a species complex. This is Myrcieria glomerata, and it makes a red fruit. I've tried to graft this onto Glazioviana, and it won't take. Look at flowers. Look at it's got a flower open right by my hand right here. See, look at those flowers. It hasn't set fruit yet, but yeah, look at the new growth on it. See the new growth. This is another one. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? These are hard to get started. Very sensitive to heat and pH. So at first they're hard to grow, but once you get them going, they do really well. Look at that. Look at the bark real quick if you get a chance to. Look how much different the bark looks on these. It's like a reddish color. See, it's like a reddish color. And maybe we'll show the bark on um, this one again. This is Strigipes, which is more closely related to Glazioviana, but there's Glazioviana bark. And then there's your Strigipes bark starting to peel. And then we'll show you one more leaf. That's part of, part of that species complex, I believe, in the area, possibly. And then let's show them the bark on this Glazioviana one more time. This is the regular yellow Jabo. Go down, look at that bark. See how it like fisher? It's got fishers in it. That's pretty, boy. These things right by ready to flower. And look, I planted it right next to a red Jabo Kaba. Look at the red. See the red next to it? They're the same age. It's a race to see who fruits first. Look at, they're the same exact height, too. Same height. Look at that. See, same height. Anyway. Let's show them one, one or two more and we'll end this video out. Another Petrantha, Rosa de Piscoco. Looks just like Ariana. <laughs> and then look, another Grandifolia. Grandifolia. Look at the new growth on Grandifolia, nice and fuzzy. It looks a lot like the watermelon to me, which they call Ariana. I think Grandifolia could be part of a species complex. That's what I'm saying. Look it up, man. It's on Google. Look at this one. Strigipes. This is closely related to that uh, Glazio Viana, part of that possible species complex. I think they could hybridize. I've even seen online a Glazio Viana variety. They say it's Glazio Viana, but the fruit gets much bigger and it has like a cross shape marking on it. I haven't seen anybody import it yet. It'd be interesting but it's a larger fruit than Glazio Viana. I've heard a lot of people talk trash about Glazio Viana, the yellow Java Chicaba, because it's so small and there's not a lot of fruit to eat. I've heard people say they taste sour. Let me tell you something. That's one of the most delicious fruits I've ever tasted. It tastes like coconut, mango, apricot to me. But the fruit is small. It's got a thick skin and a big seed. You got to eat a hundred of them to get your fill. But the tree makes a hundred of them. So it's worth growing. It's beautiful. But if you, don't, if you don't want to eat a, a fruit that you have to spit the skin and seed out, then don't deal with it. And you have to eat a bunch of them. Like I said, they're small, but they're delicious. Sweet, man. Nothing sour about it. Just don't eat the skin like a dummy. Come over here. The skin is sour. Now this is the last one I'm going to show you today of this possible species complex within the genus of Myrcieria. 
pulling these weeds out. Look at the size of that weed I pulled. Wow. This is Mircearia guaquiea. G-U-A-Q-U-I-E-A. -E they call that guaquica or something. Guaquisa. There's like a symbol. There's a name for it in uh, Portuguese. I don't know how to say it, but it's spelled like guaquica. Found a couple ants over there. Anyway, look at this tree. This one is very strong, and it looks a lot like strigipes, and it looks a lot like glazioviana. So that's the third that I think of that possible species complex. This is a truly extremely strong tree. It's taken freezes, it takes extreme heat over 100 degrees. It takes flooding. It takes minor drought. Woo! So look at the other one right there, same age. They've both flowered but haven't set fruit yet. They've only flowered for one year. These are about probably four years old right now from seed, maybe five, going closer to five. But they've been flowering since they were, they flowered about three years old, three to five years old. And one of the problems I have here in Central Florida with these is they're not like the regular plinias where when they flower, the plinias only take about 20 to 30 days to really have the fruit get ripe. These seem to take closer to 50 days and they like to flower over the winter months. So a lot of times the flowers come and the fruit gets hit by the cold out here. I still do get fruit, especially in the greenhouse. So, and they can put out two crops in a year, it seems like, but never really two big crops. It's usually just one big crop that they try to put out over the winter. If I get lucky, I get a good crop. So this is Guaquiella. And I like this one a lot. It's super strong. It's supposed to make a nice fruit with a thin skin and a smaller seed. So a little bit more edible flesh than the um, Glazio Viana. The Strigipes is the same thing. They're small fruits, but it's got a thinner skin and a smaller seed than Glazio Viana. They all are taste about the same. They have like a nice citrusy flavor sometimes. Well, you know what? I, I, that's not true. The, this one over here, I have tasted. I have not tasted Guacuella but I have tasted this and it's definitely more citrusy than Glazio Viana, the common yellow Jabuticaba. So this is Strigipes, but the fruit so far has been smaller. The seed's definitely smaller, skin is thinner, worth growing. They can be grafted onto the yellow Jabuticaba, Strigipes and Guacuella. So think about it, y'all, think about it. They like full sun for best fruit and they don't like a freeze too much. Glazio Viana doesn't, but Strigipes and Guacuella seem to handle the cold better. Glomerata is an oddball one that makes a red fruit that I don't think is part of a species complex. Think about how they identify these things, how they confuse them, how they might be graft um, compatible. Maybe they're capable of hybridizing. And then think about all the varieties that are out there and mutations that we haven't found or seen yet. Get with it, y'all.